This Sabre Golf video is on pitching. So the difference between chipping and pitching really for me comes down to the wrist action through the shot. If I'm going to hit a small chip shot, I'm going to keep my hands very much secure right here, not going to rotate, not going to hinge. A chip shot for me, if I move my shoulders back and forth and create some speed with very little wrist action, I can chip a ball with low trajectory, maybe fly it even 20 to 30 yards. If I chose to use a 7 iron or a 9 iron and did the same action, I could pitch it out there 50 yards and it would roll out to maybe even 75. But the chipping action for me is different than the pitching action. So what I'm going to show you is how to pitch and how to use the saber to help you to do that. So let's say, for example, I'm going to pitch my ball up onto the green right here. What I'm going to do is take my saber. The timing mechanism is down at this end. As I go back, I'm actually holding the light end of the saber. This is the end that you want to use for this drill. And as I go back, I can set that shaft of the saber at, par at parallel. Now that ball will roll back and forth. So at this point, this is where we max out the chip, okay? If that ball stays at this end of the saber and it doesn't roll into your hands, that means you're chipping, okay? You're keeping that club and that shaft down below horizontal. The second I go up here, even if I haven't really used much wrist, if I go back and that saber tips upward, now higher than horizontal, now that timing mechanism is down in my hands. At this point, I've really loaded up some good energy. And as I move my body, I don't have to snap my wrists hard. As I move my body, you're going to hear that ball snap to the bottom. So halfway or below halfway is a chip. This is typically going to produce a low, soft shot. The second you get your hands up here and that energy drops into your hands and you created an angle, boom, you're going to be able to create some more speed. So it's very important that when you get that saber in this position, you have two options. You incorporate just a simple pivot of the body that will get that ball to snap down into position. Or if you want to add more energy, you create more wrist hinge and actually use the acceleration of your hands and arms to also create that pitch. So with a sand wedge, if I go back to here, just a gentle set and pivot my body, that's only going to go about 30 yards. Also with a sand wedge, if I go back here, set my wrists a little bit more, and then actively use my wrist action, that same sand wedge is now going to go about 50 yards. So hopefully this demonstration of how to use the saber and how to set your wrists will really help you with your pitching.